Hey guys, what's going on? It's One Leader here once again, just doing yet another unboxing. Today we're doing it, as you can clearly see, we're doing Overwatch Collector's Edition. Definitely cutting it, cutting it a little close. Uh, I knew, I know that the release date for the uh, for the game was today, but I wasn't, I wasn't completely sure, and it's actually tonight at 8 p.m. So definitely cutting it a little close. I literally just got this in, maybe five minutes ago so so yeah let's just go ahead and get to it because I definitely want to see if I can post some uh, some footage for you guys as well of some of the gameplay of it so let's just go ahead and open this up here let's see This is just a sleeve, but I have to say, so far the presentation of the box looks incredible. It really does. Um, uh, it's, okay, give me one second, let me get out. There we go. This was to me a last minute pre order. Oh wow, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Got the Overwatch symbol there. It's pretty much kind of designed all over this box right here. I don't think you guys can see it through the camera, but it's kind of like on a different tone of black. You can see the Overwatch um, insignia or whatever the logo is, whatever you want to call it. You got the name there. Obviously, you got the inside box here. One thing that I thought was was super cool that I noticed before I even opened it, they have the three, um, sorry, the four different categories of characters, like the tank, um, defenders, and uh, offense, and all that. They have it all right here again in the same type of design like it's kind of like a different shade of black it's kind of like a bit shiny so you might you guys might not be able to see it through the camera but once you see it in person you you'll be able to notice it more um, but like I was saying this is a last minute uh, pre-order for me and I'm very very so far I'm very happy that I actually picked it up so it's actually quite heavy uh, I'm trying to see what's the best way to open it up maybe just slide it out here yeah, let's just go ahead and slide it out. Beautiful. Actually, let's go ahead and do it this way. Okay, you know what? Let's turn it over, actually. I think it might be better. Okay. Let's turn it over the other way. <laughs> seems a little bit okay so let's see I am assuming that this is gonna be the statue so I'll go ahead and show you this guys this part we got like a little velcro little strap and and this is just the uh, artwork the art booklet oh very nice it's got a it's like a clear sleeve you guys can uh, Take a nice look at it there. That's the it's the art booklet. It's got a sleeve on it, a clear sleeve. In the back, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'll try to like tilt it see maybe you can see it in gray. Again, the same Overwatch logo. Uh, and then if you pull out, you got the uh, the actual booklet itself. With I mean, yeah. Same as always, you know, the art for the uh, for the game, maybe some concept art and stuff like that. I'll probably read over it later. Might have some of the story, background stories of all the characters and stuff. So that would be that definitely be kind of neat. We got the Overwatch Collector's Edition soundtrack. Let me see what do we got. Overture, Rally of the Heroes, Rally of the Heroes. Sorry. We'll go see some more heroes. Blah blah blah. blah. Cool. All right, it's pretty neat. It's actually pretty neat considering they gave you a physical copy because nowadays everything is digital. So you get a digital download of the collectors of the, of the soundtrack. This is very nice, very very nice. I'll give you guys, you guys can take a good look at it, at it there. That's the front, and that's the rear. 
I didn't see there. Oh, okay, so you got, what's her name? Uh, uh, Jesus, now I can't remember her name for whatever reason. And then you got Reaper in the back. Game disc, and just all the fun stuff inside. Very cool. Oh, this, this I had read about it. I never actually saw them, but I read about it. Uh, these are actual postcards. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get them out without having to rip this open. Ah, all right. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got... Yeah, you got, I think basically these are the different maps of the game where you actually play. Um, I'll just give you guys a, a view of a few of them. So we got Dorado. What is this? Oh, Hanamura. And it's, you can see they're actual postcards. So, I mean, if you really want to send them out, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but if you wanted to, you could. You got Hollywood, Helios, King's Row. So you got basically all the maps um, as, as actual postcards. Very, very cool. I gotta say, very nice little, something different to, uh, to hand out, you know, to give out to those, uh, to those collectors out there. At least it feels a little different. Uh, not that it was needed, because to be honest with you, just with the way that this game, this collector's edition came packaged, it's it feels completely different from any other collector's edition I've ever gotten, and I've I've gotten quite a few. Um, very very satisfied with it. Let me go ahead and put that back, and let's go ahead and get to the statue uh, so you guys can see there's this is the part there's really nothing else it's just the statue box and then you got the other end for the, the stuff that I just showed you guys so we'll just go ahead and set this over here to the side oh this is the heavy part <laughs> so that's the heavier part of the actual box and let's get to the statue and remove you Hold on one second. I'm just gonna set the statue to the side, the the actual soldier to the side first, because I believe he's got the base that he stands on, and it's sitting on this side. Yep. Wow. Okay. More instructions. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Just so you guys can see it before I put the statue on, this is the actual base that Soldier 76 is gonna be standing on. You can see they've put a lot of detail into it. And then even on the back, I just realized when I tilted it over to you guys, even, well, underneath it, you got some other writing and details on it as well. That's that. Uh, it's actually pretty heavy. I have to admit, uh, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel cheap in any way, shape, or form. All right. And so let me see. They put it like this. Okay. That is all the assembly that is required of this. And this is your final product, guys. Let me go ahead and just take this stuff out. You know, let me, uh, just to give you guys the whole, I guess the whole picture of what, everything that came. So there you have the statue of uh, Soldier 76. And here, of course, you have the art book. You got 
probably the most important part, which is the game. You have your postcards. And you have your soundtrack. This is it, guys. This is the collector's edition for Overwatch. I have to say, everything is phenomenal. Uh, down, I mean, just you could tell everything, just the care and the details that they put into the actual statue itself, and just the way everything came packaged and, and the presentation of it is just a fantastic job. I honestly could not be happier. I probably i've i've done a few um a few what's it called a few, a few unboxings of collector's editions um and i have to say that thus far this is by far my most favorite um collector's edition just everything about it is just great so yeah guys that is it that'll wrap it up i won't bore you anymore so, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it this has been an unboxing of the collector's edition for overwatch and uh thanks for watching Take it easy, guys.